Hey pimps, Dr. Rodney again from the Pimp OS support team. Hey, in this video I want to introduce you to one of Pimp OS's best tools, GPU Tool. GPU Tool is the Pimp OS exclusive tool that gives Pimp OS users unique control over their GPUs. It comes pre-installed in Pimp OS and is updated via Pimp Up whenever a new version is released. For this video I will be using my mixed GPU Pimp machine. This way, you'll be able to see the slight differences between NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. So before I get started, I want to cover two things real quick. Uh, just notes for us to, to keep in the back of our mind. The first thing is, at, at any time we want to get a listing of our GPU tool commands, there is a command for that. And that is GPU tool. Let me run it now. GPU tool space dash dash help and this will give us the usage of our gpu tool so if at any time you need to uh can't remember a command remember the help and uh you should be able to get by with that uh the last thing i want to cover real quick is the configuration file the gpu tool uses um when you log into a pimp machine you're logging into the root folder and if you've ever taken a peek at what's inside this root folder, well, let's let's just do it right now. Command B L S. So we can see in there two folders and four files. The one I want to point out is the GPU-config.json file. This is the default configuration file that GPU tool uses. Um, at any time from this folder, you can view and edit your GPU config.json file by simply typing in nano in ano space and the file name right so gpu dash config dot json and it will open that file up into our editor where we can uh, view and or edit um, I will cover all of these over uh, specifically when we get into the configuration side but I just wanted you to see these files or that file so that you know where it's actually located okay so to start what is GPU tool GPU tool has two functions for us and the first function is information GPU tool is what we will use to get information specific to our GPUs and there are two commands that fall into this category and uh, it's it's GPU tool list and gpu tool status so we'll just run through the first one here so let me clear the screen and i will run the first one gpu tool space dash dash list l-i-s-t okay so what this does is it scans the system to identify all of the GPUs that have been detected by the system. And it actually goes one step further. It will identify which GPUs have been identified by the drivers as well. So we can see the three sections here. Uh, in the top section, as labeled under hardware, this section is listing all of the GPUs that was detected by the core system of PIMP. Uh, Linux. What did Linux see? If you look at the next two sections, you'll see how they're broken down by drivers. So what this is actually showing us is what did the actual drivers detect? Uh, this is useful information if you are ever having to troubleshoot faulty GPUs. Just because the uh, Linux or the hardware was detected doesn't actually mean that the driver was able to access the card. So that's just a, a example of the benefit of having this here GPU tool list the one most everybody is going to be uh, all about is the next one and that is GPU tool dash dash status so this you'll notice is a little bit like the list however this is giving us a little bit more detailed information on the GPUs themselves and as you can see we've got temp fan speeds clock of core clock of memory uh, 
power usage, and, and so on. Um, all, you can also notice here um, that even though they look different, my NVIDIA cards and my AMD cards, the data is still there. It's just displayed slightly different. Uh, something else to note about this tool, when we get into the configuration side and we are uh, adjusting offsets and power and fans, we will use GPU tool status to verify that those uh, settings have actually taken effect on our GPUs. So this is definitely a good tool to have uh, ready to go for you. Uh, but that brings us right into the uh, best part of GPU tool, and that's the configuration. So before we actually dive into this, I want to just state one thing. Before we jump into the configuration of any of our GPUs, we must make sure that all of our miners have stopped running. We don't want to try to configure clocks and fan speeds while the GPU is still trying to compute. Uh, that is just a recipe for disaster. So it's always best to stop your miners. Um, a simple quick command for this is pimp space dash dash stop space all. Running this command, you'll be prompted, are you sure you want to stop all of them? We'd hit yes. Of course, mine were already stopped, but this will force every miner on your pimp machine to shut down. So when you see that we've got zero miners running and no GPUs active, now we can start into the configuration side. All right, so let me clear the screen before we jump into config. So the way GPU tool identifies our GPUs is by GPU ID number. These ID numbers can be found from the GPU tool status command. And they're listed down the left hand side of each of our GPUs. So here we can see it's GPU 0 through 7 in my case. Uh, another thing to note real quick before we get into the config file is my NVIDIA GPUs are numbered 0 through 3 and my AMDs are 4 through 7. It'll just be helpful when we get into the config file. So to get into that config file, remember what the command was. It's nano and the name of our file, which was gpu-config.json. And here we can see where all of our GPUs have been grouped into sections and it's identified by GPU ID number. So this one here is GPU ID 0, 1, and so forth. Remember what I said my NVIDIA's were 0 through 3 and my AMD's were 4 through 7. Um, when GPU tool generated this config file, it also knew this. And as you can see, each of the little titles are slightly different across the AMD and NVIDIA, which is also another good indication of which GPU you're working with. Each one of these titles is referencing a portion or a detail of our GPU. In this case, the NV stands for NVIDIA. The C offset stands for core offset. Our M offset stands for memory offset, power limit, fan speed, and temp target. AMD has the same uh, entries, however, they're just named slightly different. So we have AMD core clock, AMD mem clock. The thing to notice here is that NVIDIA and AMD set their parameters on their GPUs differently. NVIDIA uses what's known as an offset. So what this means is that your GPU has a base core clock and the number you type into these quotes is what's going to be added or subtracted from the base clock. AMD doesn't do an offset. It actually does a real value. So the number you type into these quotes for an AMD machine will be the actual value that you want the clock set to. 
It's something to keep in mind when you're editing on multiple machines or multiple GPUs between AMD and NVIDIA. So the way this works, it's very simple. If I want to change the core offset of my GPU, I can simply just type in the new value. And for this example, I'm going to change the core offsets on just my NVIDIA cards to 50. Nice round small number. So I will simply type in the five, making sure that each one says 50. Now that I've made my changes, I could go in, you can change all of these values. Once you're done, we'll hit control X. It's going to ask us if we want to make our uh, saves. So we'll hit Y for yes. And it's asking us for the file name. We will just hit enter because we don't need to change the file name. Now I'm going to run the command GPU tool dash dash config. And what this is going to do is it's going to read our config file and apply these values that we had set to our GPUs. Remember when we ran for the NVIDIAs, they originally had a zero offset. So I'm going to run the command to apply our settings, which is GPU tool dash dash config. And here we say that the config has set our, where we are, right here. Our core speed was set, offset was set for 50. You can go ahead and ignore these errors for my power limits. This is because these GPUs have a max of 120 for power and our default config was setting it to 150. But what we're really paying attention to here is did our settings take effect? So it told us that it set our offsets for our cores to 50. And now we can use the GPU tool status to verify whether that has actually taken effect. So GPU tool status. And as we can see, each one of our NVIDIAs have had their core offset by 50 on each one. This works exactly the same way if we were setting the fan speeds or the memory offsets or our uh, power. We would be able to verify that our changes have taken by just simply running the GPU's tool status command. Okay, so before I finish up this video, I'm going to cover the last three uh, commands that GPU tool has available to you. And the first one I'm going to cover is the GPU tool reset command. Now what this does is it automates a delete and creation of your config file. So I can demonstrate it for you here in this video. So let me clear the screen. And remember our config file is in the root folder so let me show you the root folder all right so gpu-config.json is in there and if i was to run the gpu tool dash dash reset what this is going to do is it's going to create a backup copy of our current config file and then it's going to create a new config file that just saves us a little bit of time if we ever needed to redo or we wanted to build a new config file from scratch. And if I was to do an LS here, you will see both of them are in there. We have our, our old one here. It's been renamed and it created the new one for us. And if I was to just quickly go into the new config file, can see where everything has been reset remember the original one we had I had changed the core offsets on my Nvidia cards to 50 everything is now back to its default so it's just a neat uh, convenience tool by using the reset if you need to reset your config file 
Okay, so the last two commands I can't demonstrate on this video, but I still want to cover them. Um, the first one is the GPU tool update. What this is for is if you add or remove GPUs from your pimp machine. This is how you will update your config file with either adding a new section for the new GPU or removing a section for a GPU that was removed. So you don't have to hand type it in or go into your config file and delete GPU zero because you pulled that GPU out of the system. So just something to have uh, in, your, in your tool belt is that if you add or remove GPUs, you can fix your config file quickly by just using the GPU tool update command. Now the last tool or command I'm going to cover here is the GPU tool find. And this is a pretty neat tool. I can't demonstrate it on video because the full effect of this is you need to be able to see your actual machine and your GPUs. What this is going to do is cause a GPU's LEDs to flash and it will cause that same GPU's cooling fans to rev up and rev down. It's going to kind of cycle. So this command is how you will be able to identify physically a GPU in your system referenced by the GPU ID number. So remember we get the GPU ID number from our GPU tool status. Then we can take that number and put it back into the GPU tool find space and that number and it will cause that GPU to physically flash its lights and cycle its fans. Then when you are at the machine you will be able to identify which GPU you are trying to find. So that is a really neat tool built into GPU tool. So that pretty much covers everything GPU tool uh, usage and, and how to use it. Uh, for more detailed information, you can be sure to check out the Get Pimp forum. Uh, just do a search for GPU tool. Um, also, if it comes down to the uh, overclocking and uh, specific stuff to your GPUs, you can also check out the forums for the overclocking. That's all I've got. Happy mining, pimps.